Sky Demon is such an incredible piece of aviation software that I'm almost ashamed to admit that I'd struggle to fly without it. What's even more frustrating is that its most recent update has made it even more indispensable. We've been asking for it for years and Sky Demon has listened. The latest version, 4.2.0, may have finally removed the need for our old dog-eared paper checklists. In this video, I'll take you through how it works, what's good about it, and what still needs improvement before it truly replaces those trusty laminated cards. Until recently, Sky Demon didn't have a native checklist feature, like that of its more American bias competitor, Forflight. Some regular viewers of this channel might remember that I created a workaround on Sky Demon for this using PDF copies of my checklist imported into the Use Documents section, accessible via the Airfields tab. I still like that method because it allows me to include visual cues and zoom in on specific items. The downside, of course, is that you can't physically tick off each component although one could argue that we couldn't do that with our laminated cards either. And that's part of the challenge for Sky Demon in developing this add-on. Whatever format they choose, someone will have a problem with the design. That said, I think they've done a fantastic job. The model they've built is smart, functional and customizable. And knowing Sky Demon, I'm confident that functionality will continue to evolve just like every other part of their software. So how do you access the checklist feature? When you open Sky Demon for the first time after updating, you'll be prompted to read about the new features. Version 4.2.0 doesn't just bring us checklist. It also includes a redesigned pilot log for better customization, improved layouts for approach and admin information, and greater flexibility for multi-sector trip planning. Today though, I'll be focusing purely on the checklist feature. If you find this video useful and you'd like me to cover those other features, then please subscribe. It's entirely free and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. To access the new checklist feature, open the orange airfields tab on the right hand side of the home screen. You'll find the checklists in the top right hand corner. Here you can see the checklists I've already created for my own aircraft. Checklists are grouped into four stages of flight, pre-flight, during flight, post-flight and emergency. Simply tap a checklist to open it. You can work through each item, ticking them off in any order you choose. And if you make a mistake, just tap an item again to deselect it. Each checklist can be set to either manual reset or auto clear once all items are ticked. I prefer the manual option so that if I exit the checklist for any reason, I can return later and pick up exactly where I left off. For my emergency checklist, however, I've enabled auto reset so it's always ready to go if I need to run through it again. I'm not sure if it's just the novelty of the new system or the clear visual feedback, but for me it actually feels safer than my old laminated cards and I'll still keep those in my knee board just in case. Creating and customizing checklists is straightforward once you know where to look as the interface is tucked away behind a few menus. To find it, first select the small setup cog symbol on the top left hand of the home screen. The second item on that drop down menu is labeled aircraft. Choose this, which will in turn open the aircraft window. Assuming you've already set up your aircraft on Sky Demon, you should see your aircraft in the library. It's beyond the scope of this video to detail setting up a new aircraft. However, if you'd like me to do a video on that, then please let me know in the comments section below. Select the aircraft for which you choose to make a checklist. I only have one aircraft in my library, so this is easy for me. A drop-down menu should appear with four options. Select the Edit Aircraft option from this menu. You should then have a summary of that aircraft presented to you and further options available. Just below the Fuel and Weight and Balance sections, you'll find the Checklists option. By selecting this, you will then be able to access the Editing section. From this editing section, you can choose to add a new checklist from the dark blue banner at the top of the enunciation block, or delete a checklist by pressing, holding, swiping left on every, any given checklist to execute the red delete command. Let's create a new checklist together. First, I will select new checklist on the top right hand side of the blue banner. Immediately, you will see that almost every feature of your checklist can be customized. I'm going to start by determining the way in which my new checklist will behave. Select the Edit Properties button from the two that are available at the top of the Edit menu. Let's give our new checklist a name. I'll call this one Example Checklist. 
I then need to decide into which flight phase I would like to place this checklist. There are four phases and currently you cannot add, remove or edit these four categories. But for general aviation, I believe them to be entirely appropriate. These flight phases are pre-flight, during flight, post-flight and emergency. For the purposes of this exercise, I'm going to choose during flight for my example checklist. Having set up the behavior for my checklist, I now use the little arrow on the top left of the dark blue banner to continue with the setup. I would like two sections for my checklist. So now I will add a second section. At the bottom of the edit box, there is a button labeled add section. Selecting this will allow me to edit the characteristics of the second section. I will label this section, take photo. At the bottom of this edit box, you will see the option for auto reset. Choose this if you'd like your checklist to auto reset or refresh when you have finished ticking off items after use. I'm not going to select this as I'd like to manually reset my checklists. Now this is really important. Before selecting the little arrow at the top left hand side of the blue banner to return to setting up your checklist, you must select save at the top right hand side of the blue banner. If you do not, your new section will disappear. Returning to the edit page, you should find your new section is present. We will now edit the first section by touching the edit button next to the line we wish to edit, or you can touch the little bin button to delete that section if you'd prefer. Let's edit the first section by touching the edit button and I will label this section position. Remember, you must press save before moving on or the edit you have done will be lost. You can now choose to move, edit, delete or add items to each of the sections you've created. I'm going to edit the items in my first section and then add some items to my second section. Selecting the edit button adjacent to the item I wish to edit will prompt me to determine a challenge and a response. Here I will write position for my challenge and over enemy for my response. Again, I will ensure that I save my edit before moving forward. You can see that my checklist has been updated with my edits. I will now edit the second item by selecting the edit button. My challenge will be maneuver and my response will be inverted. I will make sure that I save my edit before moving on. Looking at my checklist, I can see that actually I need to be inverted before I can position over the enemy. I can easily reorder the items on the checklist by using the little gray arrow buttons to the right side of those items. Let's move the first item down. Great. Now let's add items to the take photo section. Select the add item button to insert an item. My challenge on this occasion will be camera and my response will be aimed. Okay, let's add another item to that section using exactly the same principles. My challenge will be finger and the response will be raised. So that's my new checklist completed. Select the back arrow, then a second time and finally a third time. But before closing the section, remember to sync your, your changes with the cloud. You can then close the section entirely. Right, let's have a look at our new checklist and see how it performs. Open the orange aircraft tab to the right of the home screen, select checklists, and there it is, our example checklist. Now we can work our way through the checklist. That's great, but it's not one I want to keep, so I'm going to show you how to delete it. On the top left, select the setup cog symbol, choose aircraft from the drop down menu, select your aircraft and choose edit aircraft from the drop down menu, choose checklists, scroll down, find our example checklist, Press, hold and slide to the left to delete it and we're done. So what's it like to use? During flight, checklists are easy to access from the same airfields tab on the right hand menu. They appear as an overlay on top of your main navigation map so you don't lose situational awareness, something that SkyDemon has been very clear to prioritize. I've tested this in flight and was very pleasantly surprised. Even in bright sunlight, the display was legible, the touch targets were large enough for a gloved finger, and scrolling is smooth so you're not distracted during critical phases. In fact, I find myself using it far more confidently than I had anticipated. 
There is something very reassuring about seeing each step visually confirmed, particularly during high demand situations like prior to takeoff and on approach. There are, of course, a few limitations in this first iteration. The word and or sentence length of each of the challenges and responses is fairly limited. If you use too many words, then the formatting of the checklist becomes a little bit irregular. As far as I can ascertain, you can't yet share checklists with other pilots or import or export them, nor can you modify the flight phases or the color schemes. That being said, absolutely none of these are, are deal breakers for me. In my opinion, checklists should be concise, standardized, and whilst color coding might help highlight specific items, one might argue that every entry on a checklist should carry equal weighting, as every checklist item is flight critical. For now though, this is a clean, functional, and genuinely useful update, and one that's already become part of my regular pre-flight routine. So what's the verdict? Is it the end of the laminated checklist? Well, not quite. I'll still keep a printed laminated copy in my kneeboard, just in case the technology misbehaves. But I love Sky Demon's new checklist feature, and it has made my cockpit workflow smoother, faster, and safer. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Have you tried the new checklist feature? How does it fit into your cockpit routine? Whilst you're there, if you found this walkthrough useful, then please consider subscribing. It's completely free and really helps the channel grow. If you'd like me to cover the other additions to the 4.2.0 version, such as the new pilot log or multi-sector trip planning, then let me know below. Until next time, I'm Jeff Cockrell, fly safely, and I'll see you in the next one.